Girls passing out, I seen them pass out. I with seen them with my own eyes. Exactly, yeah. A, a Chris Brown shows girls pass out, they have ambulances I seen them with ready. my own mother. Yeah. We're gonna talk about the saga where thoughts are basically trying to paint an image that Chris Brown is, you know, taking certain pleasures from them. You know what I mean? Or killing them, so to speak. Because, you know, we have to keep it quite um, decent for the YouTube people, you know what I mean? Because everything them take it personal. But, yeah, so Chris Brown has been getting a bad rap since he announced that his new album will be released in short order. Oh, females have started to come out of the woodwork with these allegations. Now, there is something that I think people are not noticing. In recent times, since the Me Too movement came forth, a lot of women have been leveling allegations at famous men. Now, I'm not saying that famous men are incapable of performing unscrupulous things when it comes to women. But it is very ironic that this movement only seems to target men who are of stature and are able to pay over huge fines, huge sums of money, either for the cases to go away or for the person to just hush up. Now, people like Chris Brown, people like T.I., people like Trey Songs are mentioned uh, in some of the cases by, by these women. I'm not going to take up for people like R. Kelly, who has a track record of dating underage females. But for people like Chris Brown, people for, like Trey Songs, people like, like T.I., these men are very sought after men. Men like uh, Trey Songs are one of the most eligible bachelors out there. Trey, Trey Songs hit list. <laughs> this man is known for smash some of the baddest chick, chicks, including Sierra, Chloe Kardashian. Kardashian? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Kardashian. Chloe Kardashian. You get me? I say, this man even take away Mario Balotelli girlfriend. You see me? I say, nice and fresh when she just started to date this, the football superstar when that man was at the peak of his career. Trey Songs take with that man girl. So nobody will have me believe that Trey Songz is out here, you know, taking advantage of the opposite sex. You know what I mean? And so, like, the same way in which the PP loans have been compromised and persons have been applying for these loans, knowing that they don't have any businesses, I think it's the same way that the Me Too program has been compromised. The Me Too program was made to basically look out for women that endured some form of abuse in the workplace. You know what I mean? At the, at the hands of their superiors and whatever. But I think a lot of women, lazy women, you know, thoughts, they saw it as a means of getting money. So once they put themselves in certain positions or they have intercourse with these men, it's easy to say, hey, this man raped me or I'm going to say that you raped me or whatnot. And if you don't pay me this amount of money, then you know what's what. You know, so a lot of these guys, they settle the cases out of court. You know, but it's hard to prove your innocence as a man whenever a woman makes these claims against you. So a lot of men just pay for it and done. Now, if you think what I'm saying is far-fetched, look, for example, at the recent news involving Drake and that fat who took his sperm out of the trash can. Now, this man literally put his sperm in the garbage after intercourse, and she went into the garbage and tried to impregnate herself just because she wanted to have a child for this man so he would be indebted to her for the next 18 years. Now, if you think it is beyond a woman who is capable of going to that length to impregnate herself with a man's sperms for money, withstanding that this man could have diseases, she could have infected herself based on the bacteria from the trash, she didn't care. Now, if a woman is capable of going to those lengths, why is it so hard to believe that women are out there telling lies on these celebrities and blackmailing them in order to get their company? Now, I'm not saying that I'm 100% sure that these men, their hands are clean and whatnot. That's not what I'm saying. But I would suggest that the relevant authority take these things into consideration before putting these men on the chopping blocks and destroying their families and their livelihoods while these females largely go unscathed. As you hear the sound in the gym, you know, put in the work. Yeah, so I would advise the authority to basically try to... Uh, fix the situation, look into a lot of these cases deeply before leveling charges against these celebrities because they are targets. People like Vlad have said before that he has been put under so many lawsuits since gaining money that he's at the point where he just pays the person to just shut up because he doesn't have the time to waste. And whenever you sue these people for defamation, they are normally so broke that you don't have any chance of getting back that money. If you win a million dollars from an from, from Instagram thought that you had sex with, there's no way that person can pay you back. Plus, the damage done to your character is usually way beyond repair. So, it's really a lose-lose situation for the male. Recently, another rapper um, was placed under the same situation by a girl he was dating. And some accusations were made against him. And the entire media was on this guy's case. 
only to find out that she was lying and she came and she made a public apology but that guy's reputation is forever smeared even though she later came and uh, retracted her statement and said that she was lying people like TK Kirk, T. Kirkland the famous comedian some allegations were levied against him as well he was able to prove that that particular female was lying and they settled out of court you know so you have at least two men of note who actually managed to prove um, their accusers otherwise but as it relates to Trey Songz, Chris Brown, T.I., especially for those three, I would definitely <laughs> advise the authorities to look into those cases before pushing those information out there to the public. I'm out. And before I go, like, you know, my man lovely is some quote. And remember them say, L has no fury like a woman's coin. And therefore, as a celebrity, a lot of times, you're there with some woman and you kick them to the curve, you scorn them, so to speak. And they want to return that favor <laughs> in the meanest way possible you know and in most cases for celebrities that is the lowest point that is the one of the worst thing that can be placed on a celebrity's name and so women choose to abuse that so i just want a lot of these celebrities to, to also take steps you know what i mean you can have non-disclosure forms you can make sure people sign agreements you can set up video cameras in your apartments or whatever just to make sure that you are documenting what is taking place so that you can avoid situations like this i'm out for real this time